start out our fourth day on one of the most epic road trips. We're in Zion National Park, which is one of the best national parks, and you're going to find out exactly why when you come and explore these two hikes with us. First, we're gonna go and try and get into Zion National Park for a sunset hike. The gates are supposed to close around 6 p.m., so let's see if we can make it happen. And then the next day, we're gonna take you guys to the Narrows. All right, we got Ranger Rick. We're gonna see if Ranger Rick can uh, continue his legacy and get us there in time. Fucking touchy break. We got the boys in back. We got Tommy Two Tone Shoe, and we have Cal the Legend. Let's go. Oh, bro. Catching vibes. Catching vibes with Tommy Two Tone. Two Tone. And Ranger Rick got us in. Delivers again. His reputation is living up. Let's go, boys. We in there. We in. We in. So when we drove in, we could not believe how stunning Zion National Park is. Just the drive-in itself was an excursion. All right, guys, like I said, Ranger Rick helped us to make it down here just in time. Tell us where we're at, where we're going. We've just made it into the Zion Scenic Drive in the National Park. It's been blocked all day and we finally got in in the last 10 minutes that it's open. We just got to the Grotto uh, parking lot, which is right in the middle, you're right by Zion Lodge. and the um, trailhead for Angel's Landing and the, the uh, Kayonetta Trail. So we're taking Kayonetta Trail all the way up to Emerald Pools, which gives you huge, really cool reflections and really tall mountain peaks. But let's join us on this journey and let's get it done. Let's go. Oh man. What? what? He just got that. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is one of the most beautiful places I have seen in the United States. Cal, what do you think of it, bro? Direct opposite from Grand Canyon, as in the Grand Canyon was further below Earth's surface, this is more above the surface. As we're here, we're enjoying the views, great vibes, great peeps, and that's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, let's go, bro! Earth feature! Yeah. Earth feature. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. It gets what? Yeah, right around the corner here, you really get the dense forest coming in, and it creates a very good environment for um, the animals to live. We've seen uh, mule deer down here, and it creates a natural um, state where it can have water and create the natural emerald pools that we're about to see here in a few minutes. That's sick. <laughs> So guys, we just made it up here to the famous Kayanetta Trail and the Upper Old Emerald Pool. Let's go explore it. I am still in awe from staring up at those cliffs. They were unbelievable. But guys, we'll see you at the next spot here in Zion National Park. It is sick. So we took a quick hike back down the mountain and saw some amazing views as the sun continued to set. And once we got down to the car, we were able to actually see a whole bunch of wildlife. So the deer there are so used to people, you'll see them on the side of the road. So definitely be careful, especially if you're driving so you don't run into them. And after that though, guys, we just cruised back down the highway right through Zion and just every single direction. The cliffs and the rocks were just lit up in so many different colors and it was just such an amazing sight to see. And we went back to the campsite for the night, took it easy because we will see you guys first thing in the morning for a wake up call to go to the Narrows. Good morning guys, it is 4.30 a.m. and we're heading to the Narrows hike. We're gonna tell you all about it once we get there because I am still super tired.
little bamboo. They would attack you. Bambuna. So guys, make sure if you're coming here to the Narrows hike and you're taking a car that you arrive super early. We arrived here around 4.45 and sat in line as car number 137 roughly and we still didn't get a spot in the lot right up front here. So luckily we have a couple other people who are going to park the car while we hold down the fort here. But just keep in mind, you do need to wake up super early if you wanna get in and get a spot. If you're coming to the Narrows hike, you need to have these shoes that basically keep your feet warm because you're trekking through water. And there's a bunch of companies down here that you can rent them for. Ours were $25 and they included these boots. There's a sock layer right here at the bottom that they give you. And then they also hook it up with a walking stick. You can bring one or two. So 25 bucks and it's somewhat dangerous hike. People have broken their ankles in there. So they highly recommend it. If you don't want to rent it though, just go ahead and bring your own. Just make sure they're really sturdy and strong boots because you're gonna be hiking through some tougher terrain. Up there on the hill somewhere. We're here. All We're right, here. the legends have made it. Let's go. We just made it to the head of the Narrows hike. It was just about a one mile hike from the main parking lot. And now we're gonna head into one of the most famous hikes in the world. I am so, so excited for this. We were actually just watching this on Netflix last night. So now we're in it. It's gonna be insane. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's how it goes. Of advice make sure the waterproof bag you buy is actually waterproof I had all my cameras in here luckily this one's obviously working right now but I put the waterproof bag in the water and it soaked all of my batteries anyways we just got up here the boys are getting a couple picks up here every single spot around here you can get some beautiful shots it is honestly completely surreal being here I am in awe at every corner the water is pretty cold I will say but you get used to it because the adrenaline is just pumping and you are so excited to be here and seeing this place. Stick in the air. Stick in the air. Let us go. Let's get going a little bit. Not really getting warm. I should have packed the jacket. So watch really closely coming up here. This is why you need to be careful in the narrows and watch your step because it's easy to trip. Yeah, bro. Did you just go through the line? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Shit. Bro, you alright? I got funny through here. Did you just go through the line? Yeah. You f***ing no. weird. Oh, sh**. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm doing my head on that. I should be good, right? Whoa. Dude, I was seeing you in the hospital right now. Yeah, you just smacked with him so hard. I was seeing you in the hospital right now with a broken leg or something. Yeah, you, you yeah, got like oh, you're good. Yeah. You got like, a few scratches on your head. Are you? Oh, I'm just fucking. Oh. Oh. What the f? No. You can't. Bro. <laughs> Shut the f up. Oh, no, bro, you cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, needless to say, I'm walking away because I'm a little annoyed that he just played us like that when we were super worried. But I gotta give it to him. That was pretty sneaky to come up with that quickly after smashing his head on the log. Did I get a big bump? Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
But you're lucky you hit that log though, because that thing was relatively hollow. Yeah. <laughs> but you <laughs> caught your whole body with it, yeah. No, but like. Dude, I. I it'll you, say, you, some couple of people's heads are really close. I just remember seeing a flash. Like, yeah. Eyes, dude. Dude, how's, how's that called when you get your yeah, brain? When he did that fake after. <laughs> I literally thought he was dead. I was like, I just panicked. So I was like, we have no cell signal. Like, no, how the f are we gonna get him? <laughs> that was too soon. Yeah, way too soon, bro. <laughs> it was so good. It was so So guys, we just made it all the way down here after three hours. This is the most beautiful hike I have ever been on. Every twist and turn, you get a new land formation. You get a new reflection of how the sun is shining down into this beautiful water sitting between these massive cliffs. It is truly a sight to see. And it's a pretty easy hike out of all the hikes I've done, going up mountains and things like that. Yeah, you're climbing through rocks and it's a bit slippery, but it's a super easy hike anyways. And we got the rest of the crew arriving right now, just in time. Crew, what'd you think of the hike? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? It's, 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 it's speechless. It's speechless. Um, that was probably the craziest thing I've ever done. I think it's a mix of gold, copper, <laughs> copper <shape. laughs> from the lighting to the unreal, unreal experience. I got Ranger Rick, you got nothing? I got nothing. Right now. <laughs> All right, Ranger Rick's got nothing. More? No words. No words necessary. Deeds? Crazy deeds? Putting on the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his contribution. <laughs> Guys, this is the most epic hike I get, I've ever been to. This is like uh, a dream to be here, come to Zion National Park and go to the Narrows uh, hike. So it took us about three hours to get down here, and that was with stopping for pitchers, stopping for water, and kind of just chilling. And it'll probably take us about two hours to get back, going a little bit quicker. So we'll see you once we get back. Hey guys, that's a wrap. We just finished up the seven hour hike in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. It was the most amazing experience. A few tips for you though guys, definitely do this hike in the morning. It is about 2.30 p.m. now and so for the last two and a half hours or so we've been hiking back and there are so many more people during the middle of the day. They were everywhere and also the colors of the cliffs and the shadows, they weren't as beautiful as early in the morning. So highly recommend to do the early morning hike. You will not regret that. You will be able to take photos and get these photos that make it feel like you're the only one in there. And one other tip for you guys, when you get to the fork, you can go left and that's the most common area and you can go a few more miles. It actually goes for quite a long time. We did a total of nine miles round trip but I wanted to bring up the why because if you take a right there, there's about a 30 minute extra hike you can do. It's a little more low key. It has you know more trees and nature and some like waterfalls and things like that back there. So if you have the time, definitely do it because how many times are you in Zion National Park? How many times are you doing the Narrows hike? It is amazing. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. And so guys, make sure you stay tuned for our next video where we're going to be exploring Bryce Canyon National Park. There are so many amazing viewpoints we see during this hike and we are going to show you all of them in the next video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.